the centerpiece of the San Antonio Spurs dynasty. Tim Duncan led the franchise to five NBA titles. A two-time league MVP, Duncan is one of the best defenders in league history, and his Spurs teams reached the playoffs in every one of his 19 seasons. The beauty about Tim's game, it was so simple, so simplistic. Didn't do anything flashy, but he could beat you every time. They go to the big fundamental. Puts it down, comes baseline, spin over the top. It's good! Tim Duncan. I was the one who gave Tim Duncan the name, the big fundamental, because Tim Duncan fundamentally had it all. You know, I had never played with a guy that, was, that won the MVP that season. And that season he won the MVP and all his teammates was obviously gonna be there and support him. I came in a suit and I was excited and Tim Duncan came in a shirt that was probably this long and in Tim Duncan way said thank you to his teammates, to his fans and accepted his MVP a trophy in such the Tim Duncan way that all his teammates would appreciate it. It was just him being him, he's so humble. When I first saw him play, I thought, oh my goodness, you're, you're incredible and this is gonna be a lot of fun. So Timmy D, I can't even say we have a battle with Timmy D. Like, how do you battle with Tim Duncan? Like, it was the most silent battle. <laughs> there is no San Antonio Spurs dynasty without Tim Duncan. It's time to celebrate San Antonio. The Spurs have captured their fifth NBA championship. What Tim Duncan lacked in flash, he more than made up for with an almost machine-like consistency. You had to face him. Why was he so good for so long? He was so good for so long just because of his nickname, the big fundamental. He had all of the fundamentals. And with Tim Duncan, there were times when you could play him perfectly. He could still get his shot off. I remember one time guarding him, and he, he tried to get bully me down with a jump hook, and I took it away. And then he spun to the middle and took that away. Then he did a step through and just nudged me with his shoulder and got his little shot off the glass. And he was like, that was really good defense, man. I, I, I was just able to get to my third move. And that's what made him so good. He could get to that third and fourth move. Um, he could use both hands. He could go all. He could use that bank shot off the glass, especially early on in his career. He was just really, really hard to guard. And he was really the first guy that was really doing that swipe through move to draw fouls. And he would make you pull your hand back a lot. So he was a tough guard. You, you don't win as much as he and the Spurs did for as long as they did without an inner fire that maybe we didn't always see. When did you see that competitiveness show up? I saw the competitiveness just from the jump. Just because Tim Duncan wasn't yelling or cursing didn't mean he didn't have that fire. He did all the tough things to compete. Went out there and grabbed tough rebounds. Went out there and, and, and made shot blocks when guys were trying to dunk the basketball, big time plays at the rim. He, that showed me competitive fire. Sometimes I think people have competitive fire misconstrued. They think it's a lot of yelling and words when actually you can show more with your actions. And Tim Duncan's actions always showed that he had fire to me. He reached the postseason every single year he was in the league. 19 seasons of understated hmm. excellence. Every day, every time I played that guy, he was intense, he was focused, he was passionate, and he played hard every single time. You can't tell that because, for one, he's big, always very stoic in his demeanor, but he was always intense. And just because he never wore it on his face all the time, I think that was his mind trick. <laughs> that was his mind trick. I'm just going to... Just be focused and have that laser focus, an occasional little smile every now and then. But this is what I'm doing every day, and we're going to compete, and I'm going to play hard, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to help my team uh, be successful. He brought that every day.